Hey, so if you're watching this, you've probably just seen the Assassin's Creed 3 ending, and you are most likely thinking one of two things. You are either thinking, wow, what the fuck just happened to me? I swear I just played Mass Effect 3 all over again. Or you could be thinking, um, what the hell just happened? Because I do not understand any of it. Well, let's face it, the ending was extremely vague, and it was extremely incoherent and inconsistent with the entire Assassin's Creed game. Um franchise in my opinion because Minerva has been telling you to go to this vault to try and save a world and now she's telling you that your century is too late. Well I'm going to try and explain why she said that and I'm going to try and explain some of the theories behind this. Like I said this is theory not solid, solid, not solid like not solid actual fact so please take this with a pinch of salt and I'll try and keep you guys entertained. Okay, let's start off with the obvious. Juno is alive, and she is alive because she transferred all her consciousness into the temple and the machines in the temple. And she did this by some sort of animus-like machine. And she mentions this earlier on in the game, maybe about midway, when she go goes on about how her husband was one of the first to try out the machine, but it ruined his mind, blah blah blah, something like that. But basically, she's alive and she's in the temple. And Minerva did not know this. In fact, Minerva had been spending centuries trying to get Desmond to the temple here to try and save the world. And at the same time, so has Juno. But Juno wanted Desmond to get to the temple as late as possible. And Minerva wanted Desmond to get to the temple as early as possible. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Because it has all been part of Juno's master master big diabolical plot. And... Juno is the big baddie of the entire Assassin's Creed series, and the Templars are just some kind of um, distraction, basically. Juno basically wants to enslave all humans and take revenge, because she believes that humans are the reason why the first civilization got wiped out in the first place. But to take revenge, she needs to get out of the temple, and to get out of the temple, she needed Desmond to release her, so that he could at the same time save the world. What Minerva didn't know was that Juno was there. Minerva was planning on Desmond saving the world, but Juno was planning on Desmond saving the world and at the same time releasing her. Now, hold on to your horses, this is when it gets big. Bear with me guys, because this bit is a total mindfuck. And basically, the world could have been saved without releasing Juno if somebody else had gotten to the temple a few centuries earlier. In other words, he could have gotten to the temple, realised that Juno would be released if he pushed that button thing on screen right now and not go through with it and instead think of a different plan to save the world. Obviously this was not in favour of Juno, she needed to be released, yeah? So Juno manipulated the entire history of Assassin's Creed and made it so that Desmond, this specific person, would open the vault, open the temple sorry, at a specific time so that he would run out of options. She made it so that when he opened the temple, he would not have another option apart from saving the world and releasing her because there would not be enough time to figure out another way to save the world, basically. Juno had manipulated everything that has ever happened in the history of mankind and in the Assassin's Creed universe. So the whole thing about her taking control of Desmond's body and stabbing Lucy was to make sure that she was not a distraction and that the Templars were not a problem for him to open the vault. I mean temple, sorry I keep saying vault, I mean temple. And she had basically taken control of him, killed Lucy so that she would not give the Apple of Eden back to the Templars so that it would not stop Desmond from opening this temple place. But So the summary of the entire last bit was that Juno wanted Desmond to open the vault, I mean temple, just keep saying vault, sorry guys. Juno wanted Desmond to open the temple literally a few moments before the solar flare so that he would have no other option apart from releasing her. Minerva is obviously very pissed now that she's found out that Juno is still alive and that the plan that she originally wanted Desmond to do would result in Juno being released and enslaving all mankind. In fact, she hates this plan a lot now because she believes that if Desmond does go through with it and stops the solar flare using this method, that Juno would eventually enslave the whole of mankind and Minerva believes this is even worse than letting the earth just burn basically. If Desmond had just let the world burn and not release Juno he would have become some kind of preacher like what you see now on screen. He would have inspired a whole new civilization and inspired a whole new 
cycle of mankind, basically, a whole new beginning for humankind. And obviously this would be good at the start, in, in the beginning, but eventually it would turn bad, like all religion, and people are going to use religion to kill other people, etc, etc. So now Desmond is left with two options, basically. He can either release Juno and save the world from a solar flare and hope to God that somebody, somebody is going to stop Juno from ruling the world, or he can not do anything about the solar flare and let the world burn to a crisp and start a new civilization which would eventually turn rotten. And in the end, Desmond took the first option. He chose to stop the solar flare from happening and release Juno. And at the same time, he's hoping that somebody else will rise up and stop Juno from enslaving all of mankind. And that's pretty much the end of my explanation for the ending to Assassin's Creed. And if you're wondering how she managed to manipulate human history even though she was trapped inside a temple, my best speculation is that the pieces of Eden are actually massive transmitters that transmit from the temple itself and that's what she used to try and manipulate mankind, which obviously worked. And that's that's honestly it. There's obviously a lot more to it than what I said here, but that's this is really all I can explain in a five minute video. And this has hopefully given you some more, a more clear view of the ending, hopefully. Like I said, not maybe this stuff isn't true. This stuff is what's most likely to be true, to be honest, though. And please just take this with a pinch of salt because it may not be true. But um, hope you guys enjoyed the video, as always. And if you've got any theories or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. Because I'm really interested in Assassin's Creed and the whole um, storyline of it. So please leave a comment if you've got something to say, especially about the video or the storyline itself. And please subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time.